for Goliath within range there for a moment there. Um, <clears throat> I just said there like four times in a single sentence. Ha! Beat that there. Um, anyway, so I see has definitely, definitely grasped and control this game. Look at that squad of battle cruisers all at 1 1 1. And uh, this is just going to get ridiculous. I mean, he's just going to be able to start Yamatoing tanks away and then moving in with his own tanks, establishing more position. And there's not really going to be a whole lot that Fergigi can do unless he can get some kind of crazy. Oh my god, that's a lot of dropships. Um, so that might be what he needs to do. Some sort of huge drop. And the battle crews might be too slow getting back to defend. It all depends on what he can accomplish with his drop, I think. Like I mentioned before, uh, 4GG has the land troops. He just got to be careful with those dropships. He cannot lose his mobility. Those dropships are going to be the only thing oh. giving him the edge and keeping his uh, and keeping his forces mobile to get around those BCs. Because as you can see here in this battle, those BCs are just dismantling his forces on the ground. Pretty much he has to just play keep away with his forces, hit areas he knows the BCs are not at. Uh, and just stall for cloaked rays to just try to finish those BCs off. But he needs to try to hit expansions. And I think that was a really risky move trying to hit the middle there, that middle expansion, knowing that those BCs yeah. were just at that 9 o'clock. I think that was just a too risky of a move. He could have lost those dropships, and that would have really limited his mobility. And we can see we can see a lot of rays being built up here, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. 4GG is going to be losing a lot of bases here quickly if he doesn't do something about those BCs. The thing about those wraiths is, yeah, you got a big mobility advantage over the 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 uh, BCs. You can really micro them quite well against battle cruisers. But really, to do that, you need to make sure that the BCs aren't attacking your base, that you're not locked in position. And I have a feeling that is going to be the case. He is going to be able to push up, get the economic edge, and he's going to continue to press on that nine o'clock. I think we've got. It looks like we have some dropships, some wraith going in. Uh, for I'm not quite sure what direction they're headed, but a fairly risky attack. More tanks uh, supplementing, and there's a science vessel out as well, which will definitely help against Wraith. It looks like another command center being put down to float out to the inside nine as well. Uh, now engaging the, a lot of these dropships going to get picked off before even anything happens. Looks like they, uh, no, they're leaving the science vessel alone, but the uh, battle, ooh, this is a huge fight. A lot of these oh Wraith doing God. a lot of damage to battle cruisers. So many tanks underneath, and unbelievably, I think 4GG is going to come out with this just because he's doing so much damage underneath. Only two battle cruisers left. One battle cruiser left, and it looks like one approaching, and this is a huge. 4GG using some beautiful micro using a beautiful dropship attack and he's uh, wow taking position across Holy the middle uh, and he's probably going to be able to wipe out that base and C's not going to have the gas to sustain this so nice counter attack there from 4GG <laughs> the Valkyrie coming out just kind of wandering out into the middle to die really quick but uh, now the question hey is, guys, is, is can <laughs> yeah can, can 4GG hold this <laughs> <laughs> can 4GG hold this uh, and can and can see reestablish position? Looks like he's already lost that command center. Um, but that was an excellent attack there by 4GG, and I think uh, that might have given him the game uh, possibly. Wow, I think that might have turned the game back to for GG here. I thought that C really had an advantage, but he wasn't really using it. He had all these BCs. He could just go out and Yamato the crap out of uh, for GG's tanks. But guess what he did? He didn't Yamato the crap out of for GG's tanks. Instead, he let for GG attack the middle of his base and uh, with all of his psi, all of his supply basically against um, a lesser amount of supply. Now, C is, C, I mean, this is all C has left now is this group of tanks there. Uh, still a lot of ra wraiths flying around there. There's not a whole lot they can do right now, but wow, this is, uh, this is just getting crazy. He could still fight this off theoretically, um, but by the way, I do think that um, Psionic should be the person to inhabit the, the, the driver's seat of um, Valkyries from now on because that was a beautiful Valkyrie impression. Uh, well, you can see here uh, 4GG coming in with another drop, just trying to keep the BC count low, pushing it. And you know, one thing I think that really helped 4GG out in the middle in that battle was seeing oh, forces, cute. a lot of his tank forces were in another location, and when 4GG exactly. came in, and that's GG uh, from C right there, I, what happened was that C didn't have enough ground forces to back up his BCs when 4GG came in with a lot of Goliaths. He just didn't have enough of his own tank count to help cut down the number of Goliaths there.